Blitz, nahm meinerseits bei Turok. Wir haben Besuch, auf den ich lange gewartet habe. Die Show gab es noch nicht, als die letzte Party dieser Herren rauskam. Hier sind Bobby und Manny von Palm Screen. Welcome to the program. Hi. Good to have a chance to see you. Um, and uh, the chance is the new record. Compliments for that. Okay. It's Terminator. And uh, yeah, it's brilliant. It's and we have to talk about it, of course. Yeah. And uh, maybe a few words about the past, if, if we hit certain subjects. Um, first video is for Kowalski. Um, do you still remember the shootings for that? Yeah, that yeah, was an excellent day, man. That Kate Moss and <laughs> looked like an excellent day. A, an old mad crew, Irv Irvin Welsh and Fatty, and loads of mad friends of ours. 1970 Red Dodge Challenger. Nice, Great car. Who nice car. It to? Yeah, that was we, our we car. bought it. It was our car. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I get kung fu by Kate Moss. It was good. <laughs> Duffy. How did you how did you hook up with with Kate Moss in the first place? Was she familiar with your music? Yeah, we met her at clubs back in 1990. This mm. club called Kinky Disco. So we kind of where was that? It was in Shaftesbury Avenue in London. Uh huh. Yeah, she's a nice girl, man. Excellent girl. Real normal. You still anything contact to her? Yeah, we saw her a couple of months ago at a wild party around at her house. It was pretty good. Fantastic. <laughs> it was fantastic, yeah. <laughs> we met Ronnie Wood. Oh, and Ronnie Wood there is, um, and all these people as well. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, Ronnie Wood, did he discover a wall in his, in his garden that set the landmark for um, people settling in Britain way up north? No, that was actually, that was Charlie Watts. Yeah. But there was a big thing in, in, in Britain, I remember. History had to be rewritten. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Because of Charlie Watts. Yeah. Right. It stands to reason, really. It's logical, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Kowalski was from Vanishing Point, and um, that is a record we need to talk about also. But um, first, we have the video coming up, and then a few words about the album. Ja, dann kommt jetzt der Clip zu Kowalski. Um, und danach müssen wir noch über Vanishing Point sprechen. Da war nämlich dieser Song drauf. Und das war eigentlich uh, eine ganz einfache Karte für die Welt, sie zu machen. Ne? Dann uh, kommt euch erstmal den Clip an. Zurück hier mit Bobby und Manny von Primal Scream und äh, wir sahen ja den Clip zu Kowalski und äh, Vanishing Point, ich habe es angedeutet, eine Platte, die nicht ganz einfach zu machen war für die Band. Now, I understood that uh, back then when you recorded uh, Vanishing Point, it was, it was not the easiest record to make for Primal Scream. No, it was, it was actually the easiest. Really? Because of what? Yeah, uh, um, because we deconstructed the band. The one before that was the most difficult because the band were all addicted to heroin and uh, th they weren't, it was kind of hard to get them all in the same studio at the same time and in tune. Uh, so it was kind of, it wasn't a very good time, very, very difficult time. But that was a, that was, that was a pleasure to make because, uh, yeah, as I say, we deconstructed the band I mean, it just that, you know, we, we found a brand new way of making records that was more spontaneous and exciting and fresher, you know. So it was actually the time before you wrote the material for Vanishing Point that was difficult, not so much the record in the making. No, uh, yes, 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 the pre yeah, that's right. And do you remember the point at, at which it all turned and when you, when you accepted the deconstruction and then freely... Well, I never accepted it, I put it into practice. Uh -huh. when but I, I, it was when, but the, yeah, I do remember it. I went to see The Wild Bunch by Sam Peckinpah. Mm -hmm. And that, that night, Andrew Innes, who's our guitarist, I went down to the studio in South London and he was in there with Andrew Weatherall and uh, did a mix of a song called Train Spawn. And, you know, that, that's when I realised how. This is this is good. This is, we've got a future, mm -hmm. you know. It, it, this this sounds fantastic. It was it was such a, a big departure from what we'd done before, you know. I was really uh, uh, and I thought, yeah, this is great. You know, that that that, that that's that's when I knew things were okay. And uh, many how about your memories that um, when you joined the band? Yeah, it was good. Uh, when. Uh 
when him and Zermitt split up the old band, uh, <laughs> I could very easily have sort of walked away from music, you know, but... Uh, you walked in line? But I'd, yeah, I walked in line, walked and in uh, line. Uh, it, was, it was simple to join this band because I knew them as people anyway. Yeah. Uh, I knew what, uh, what music that, uh, was, was driving them, you know, and uh, it was the only difficult part, I think, was the strange deviant sexual practices they had me uh, getting up to for a few months. But other than that, you know, I think right. it was very simple for me. And it's, it, you know, it might sound cliched, but I think all roads have led me to this point. You know, I feel like I've been a member of Primal Scream all my life already, you know. Anyway, very happy. At, at one point when you still were with the Herman's Hermit, <laughs> you mentioned that Primal Scream would, would be uh, among the only three bands you could even like possibly think about joining them yeah and um, so when you quit uh, Herman's Herman's aka Stone Roses <laughs> then, um, was it that you had the feeling of, of being in the band right from the beginning or or did you have a feeling that the band has to go back together no it's a, you know, I've always felt like I belonged from, from minute one really you know um, I sort of missed out on a lot of the recording of Vanishing Point and it was just it was Kowalski really which which uh, broke my duck, you know, mm. in uh, the Ocean Colour Scenes studio in Birmingham. And uh, they just said, do you want to come down, have a jam? Played the song, went away home. I was a bit paranoid, you know, like, <laughs> you, like you probably would be. I didn't hear anything for four days. I thought they all fucking hated it. And uh, the next thing you know, on Monday morning, they're all on the phone raving about it. And I thought, thank God that's out of the way. never heard this song before. We just said, come and play. So the first time I heard the song was when I was actually in the studio to, to make <laughs> yeah, up a bass yeah, line. To improvise you know. live, you know, that's how we work. Considering that it's a pretty good bass line. Pretty oh, cool, eh? Not bad, <laughs> not bad for, with, with a, a twist of paranoia added to it, but it's, uh, no, it's all right. So I just feel like I've been with them for, for my life already, you know. It's good. I'm a happy boy. Good. I smile more than usual and I smile all the time anyway. <laughs> Now everyone wants to lock me up and put me on a variety club sunshine couch and drive me off to an asylum somewhere, but I'm laughing now. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah, so how about playing some uh, of Herman Hermit's famous hits? She bangs the drums for the first Herman Hermit's Platte. A classic. That's one Primus Cream with Swastika Ice from the new album Exterminator. And um, the clip knüpft dann da an, worüber wir gerade gesprochen haben. So, um, in the video, um, you you chased by somebody unknown, pretty I, much. Yes. Um, is it then according to what we talked before, like? No, I think the video. I think uh, t t uh, Terry Richardson is a photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, he lives Fashion in, photographer. Yes, right? yes. Uh -huh. He lives in New York. He 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 directed the video, mm -hmm. and uh, it, and it was it was great fun making it. And it's, 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 and it's soldier it's, uniforms on a gun running yeah. around in a muddy forest, man. Was it Russian uniforms? I had, yeah, yeah, I had the Red Army uniform on, uh -huh. and, you know, that was pretty cool. But, it, you know, the, the video was supposed to be, like, good fun, you know, and funny, just to make people laugh. Yeah. So hopefully, see, yeah. But underneath this, there's more than just fun to the video. When I saw it for the first time, I, I didn't view it as just entertaining. Right. It, I just laughed all the way through it. Yeah, the filming itself maybe, but, but then again, if you think twice, then um, especially when, when you see you have Red Army uniforms there, you have German uniforms there, and uh, you have a um, certain image of women in the video, then... Uh, well, it's just men being kind of dominated by women. Right. You know, and abused Not by women. So well, we, we don't have any problem with that, do we? Fucking none at all, man. You know, Good. and then at the end we get, uh, yeah, as you know, yeah. We get massacred. Yeah. Good to death the death by supermodel again. You know, it's quite a good thing. That it's one I think we're going to explore, explore further in the future. Maybe we'll be going into our Duran Duran phase now and beating. I want to be on a yacht. I want to be on a yacht with forty supermodels next time we do it. Yeah, you know. Very good. I want to be on a U boat with forty supermodels. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> so um, this this video mix that, that we've seen is it um, the one the Chemical Brothers did? Yes, I think so. Yes, it's really so. It sounds like yeah, 
Yeah, the very you disco. To make a gay disco record, you know, and, and when we'd recorded it and you're know, written and recorded and engineered the song in our studio, we'd, we thought who better to let let mix the song than the Chemical Brothers who can do a good line in, in disco things because we always viewed it like as a, a Giorgio Moroder. I feel love or King of disco. Or yes, a class kind of thing. Yes. You know, when we recorded it, so George, it was good to let the Chemical Brothers have a have a mix with it. Because they had different perspective from our own, you know. Yeah. And we don't mind this collaboration with people, you know. It's it's healthy. There, there's also quite a few others on the record, and there have been in the past. Um, yeah, let's let's leave that for um, the video coming up, um, which is by the Chemical Brothers, Out of Control. Um, not starring you, but yes, you could, I sang it? on it though. Yeah, you oh, sang it, like, not in the yes. video. Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, I would have missed something. No, I'm not a <laughs> <laughs>